last class we have completed initial value and uh, final value theorems now let us see problems based on this initial value and final value theorem like how to use this in finding initial values of the given function as well as final values of the given time domain function mainly please refer once again the theorem statement here initial value theorem final value theorem proofs are important external theory point as well as problems also we can expect two marks or four marks okay so let us see one more example how to use this theorems and all the problem i don't find the find the initial and final values find the initial and final values for the following function for the following function find the initial and final values for the following function x of s will be given 7s plus 10 by s into s plus 2 okay important problems theoretical external exam point of view as well as ies level and also in any competitive exams while analyzing transient analysis steady state responses initial final value theorem statements are applicable there application point of view that steady state analysis uh, transient response in control system this theorem is useful so let us see initial value what is meant by initial value how do we represent it small x of 0 final value means small x of infinity if small x of t is given then how to find the initial value by simply substituting t equal to 0 then how to find infinity value at final value that means by simply substituting t equal to infinity whatever expression is there suppose e power minus at is there substitute t equal to 0 x of 0 e power 0 that is initial value x of infinity e power minus infinity that is final value like that we can find if x of t is given to us but x of s from x of s we have to find initial and final values so instead of finding inverse laplace transform that is x of t to uh, to get the initial and final values directly we can go for initial and final value theorem that is the main application right initial value and final value theorem so let us uh, first all of you write the statement of initial and final value theorem initial value theorem what is the statement of this initial value theorem limit t tends to 0 x of t that means nothing but x of 0 what is its value limit s tends to infinity s into x of s right so x of 0 only our initial value so limit s tends to infinity s into what is x of s given to us 7s plus 10 by s into s plus 2. Just to substitute it, s and s will get cancelled. Then what is the remaining expression we have? Seven s plus 10 by s plus 2. So directly, if you substitute infinity over here, infinity by infinity, indeterminate form will be there, isn't it? Indeterminate form. So that's why here first. Limit s tends to infinity. Take s as common. Then seven plus ten by s. Even in the denominator also, whatever may be the order here. Suppose here s cube may be there. Take the highest power of s as common, both in numerator and denominator. Okay, one plus two by s. Okay, substitute s tends to infinity now. S s will get cancelled, and here infinity in the denominator s is there infinity. 7 plus 10 by infinity. Something by infinity is always zero. That's why we are trying to get s powers in the denominator. Okay. 7 plus 10 by infinity. 7 plus zero. If I substitute s as infinity. 1 plus 2 by infinity. Zero. And tell me what is the initial value? 7. That's it. Like this, we will be finding initial value. Clear this? Shall I go for final value now? Try to find final value using the final value theorem statement. final value what is the statement of final value theorem limit t tends to infinity x of t equal to limit s tends to 0 s into x of s 
substitute directly s into what is x of s both will get cancelled substitute s equal to 0 10 by 2 5 so x of infinity value is final value is 5 okay that's it like that we have to find the initial and final values for the given function okay <clears throat> then so these are the problems based on initial and final value theorems like this uh, whatever may be the x of s function by using this theorem we can find initial and final values from x of s we can find x of small x of zero and x of infinity using the theorem statement okay so now till now we have seen properties problems based on properties and well as initial theorem final value theorem and how to use that uh, initial value theorem and final value theorem in problem this is one example but not at started system related problems right so let us go for system related concepts now how to use this uh, laplace transform to find transfer function of a system and all okay so now clearing the content important concept transfer function of a LTI system. How do we define transfer function of a system? Again comes the same story here. Every time system means definitely this is standard representation. Y of t. For any LTI system, what is the output? Y of t is the output. It is a linear convolution between input and impulse response. What we call this? This is input or excitation. What is this? This is impulse response. H of T is. And Y of T is output or response of the system. Which is a linear convolution between your input and impulse response. If you write in S domain x of s h of s y of s frequency domain x of omega h of omega y of omega same input in s domain output in s domain h of s is known as transfer function of the system transfer function h of t and h of s both are fourier transform pairs or if it is in s domain means laplace transform pairs okay and what is the transfer function expression we have? Like in case of frequency domain, already we have derived the expression for H of S because convolution in time domain gives multiplication in frequency domain or S domain. Even this property also we have seen Laplace transform with proof important. From this expression, what is H of S we have? Ratio of output to input in frequency domain ratio of output to input in frequency domain that is Fourier transform in S domain also it is known as transfer function of the system transfer function yes, so in control system uh, complicated block diagrams will be there system lot of blocks will be there in LTI system you have to derive transfer function of that system so there only Laplace transform or is going to be used in control system applications. Only Laplace transform. Whatever transform pairs we have derived so far, like a unit impulse, unit step, damped sine function, cosine function, unit ramp, exponential, double-sided. Clear? For all these things, the signals already we calculated Laplace transform pairs. Definitely, you have to remember those standard pairs because applications will be there. All those Laplace transform pairs applications will be there in control system subjects. Okay? So there completely we are going to study about transfer function of a block diagram. <clears throat> Set of blocks will be there. So now we are going to discuss problems based on this system related. Like in case of frequency domain LTI response also, out of these three, out of these three, two will be given. Third one we have to find. Isn't it? Desired output and input will be given. 
transfer function we have to find our transfer function will be given for a particular input what is the response okay so let us see one example based on this important these sort of problems also i am clearing the content problem right on consider write this So this is a complete problem given. Please copy this. <clears throat> Read the problem. Consider a LTI system in which input x of t and output y of t. The relation between input and output is defined by a differential constant coefficient, differential equation. Find the transfer function, impulse response, and unit step response. These three we have. So I have taken one ex example where all models are covered, like finding transfer function and its inverse. Transform that is impulse response and unit step response. What is in the unit step response? If the input to the system is unit step input, the output, the response of the system is known as unit step response. Okay. <clears throat> so for these kind of problems, first every time we have to start with representing LTA block diagram, LTA system. x of t, h of t, y of t, isn't it? This is a plot diagram. So this is the equation given to us, right? This is the equation given. So apply next step. What is what could be the next step? Can anybody guess? <clears throat> Consider the continuation. You right? Consider the given differential equation, given linear constant coefficient differential equation. That is, that is dy of t by dt plus 3y of t equal to x of t. This equation. That is dy of t by dt plus 3y of t equal to x of t. Okay. So next step is applying Laplace transform on both the sides. Apply Laplace transform on 
both the sides. Okay. Laplace transform of dy of dt dt. Do you all remember what is the Laplace transform of dx of y by dt? S into y of s minus y of zero. If it is x of t means s into x of s minus x of zero, isn't it? So here y of t is there. S into y of s minus y of zero. Initial condition causal nothing is mentioned in the problem, isn't it? If nothing is mentioned means by default we consider the signals as causal signals or all these initial conditions y of zero, y dash of zero, y double dash of zero, whatever initial conditions it may be x of zero, x dash of zero. All the initial conditions are assumed to be zeros. We don't consider them. Okay, just we will neglect them. Okay, so if we neglect initial conditions, then d power n x of t by d t power n. What is its Laplace transform? We have. S power n into x of s, depending on order. If d square is there, means s square we will get. Clear? So now apply Laplace transform on both the sides and try to write the functions in s domain. <clears throat> okay. Now apply Lap after applying Laplace transform, what is there? S into y of s plus three into y of s. Equal to x of s. Okay, y of s you take common. Same procedure like in case of uh, frequency domain also same procedure we followed there also. Then what is h of s? Y of s by x of s. One by s plus three, which is a transfer function of a system. H of s equal to one by s plus three. Okay, this is a transfer function of the system. Okay, first bit completed. Transfer function we got, isn't it? Try to solve second one. H of s equal to we got it as one by s plus three. One by s plus three, right? What is the second bit that we have to find? Impulse response. Impulse response. How to find impulse response? H of t and H of s. These two are forming Laplace transform pair, isn't it? So H of t is nothing but inverse Laplace transform of your H of s function. Nothing but Laplace inverse of One by s plus three. <clears throat> e power minus eighty into u of t. What is its Laplace transform? We have one by s plus a, where causal signal we have assumed real part of s is greater than its pole minus a. In the same manner, e power minus three t into u of t. What is its Laplace transform? One by s plus three, where Real part of S is greater than minus three because nothing is mentioned causal non causal. If it nothing is mentioned means by default causal signal is considered here condition. Real part of S is greater than minus three will be considered. Okay. Now try to write impulse response equation. Okay. Impulse response, nothing but inverse Laplace transform. So H of t, nothing but inverse Laplace transform of H of s equal to e power minus three t into u of t. Okay, this is our second bit, right? Impulse response. We got the impulse response also. Now the third one. What we have to find in the third bit? Unit step response. That means x of t. What is the input? U of t is the input here. Okay, LTA system. H of t, H of s, and what is the output? Y of t, Y of s. This only we have to find now. Unit step response. When the input is unit step input, what is the response of the system? That is unit step input. Here, unit step response. 
try to find this okay try to find this x of s equal to laplace transform of x of t means laplace transform of what is the input here u of t what is the laplace transform of unit step as step input this we already calculated in last lectures unit step laplace transform is simply 1 by s okay and what is h of s already we calculated right h of s already we have calculated try to find try to use it What is h of s? One by s plus three. But h of s is nothing but y of s by x of s. Okay. First, we have to get x of s expression for the given input. For the given input, okay. Substitute x of s and try to find. Uh, try to find y of s. So here we have y of s by x of s as one by s plus three. Then what is y of s? X of s into one by s plus three. But what is x of s here? Laplace transform of unit step input is one by s. One by s into one by s plus three. So then y of s is one by s into s plus three. what we have to find now unit step response that means in time domain what is y of t right so again we have to use inverse laplace transform concept here <clears throat> try to find its inverse laplace transform important model so here what we have we have y of s as 1 by s into s plus 3 till now i have not given you inverse laplace transform formula in next class i will conclude this laplace transform concept with inverse laplace transform formula and problem and inverse laplace transform calculation is not at all based on its uh, inverse formula definitely we depend only on partial fractions see here this expression i am writing it as a by s plus b by s plus 3 <clears throat> okay that means here 1 by s into s plus 3 which is nothing but your y of s function how i am writing a by s plus b by s plus 3 so a into s plus 3 partial fractions you can use either shortcut method which we already discussed in the class for fourier transform concept otherwise you can also compare numerator coefficients denominators are same so numerator coefficient comparison a method also you can use depending on number of unknown parameters and uh, equations take s as common a plus b into s and plus 3a numerator solve the expression as plus bs a plus b into s so this is please correct it write it properly s plus 3a compare s coefficients in numerator compare S coefficients in numerator. 
any s coefficient is there nothing is there s term is not at all there in the numerator so a plus b equal to 0 that means a equal to minus b <clears throat> similarly what is the term we have here one is there means constant terms you can compare and equate it to one compare constant terms in the numerator constant term what we have here 3a is there what we have here constant 1 is there 3a equal to 1 then what is a 1 by 3 then what is b minus 1 by 3 we got a and a, b 1 by s into s plus 3 is now a value is 1 by 3 into 1 by s b value is minus 1 by 3 so minus 1 by 3 into s plus 3 please write properly this 3 3 3 into s plus 3 just i have substituted a value 1 by 3 s minus 1 by 3 into s plus 3 okay now we can ap apply inverse laplace transform because we know the standard phase okay try to find inverse laplace transform that is y of t So now y of s, we got it as 1 by 3 into 1 by s, 1 by 3 into 1 by s minus 1 by 3 into 1 by s plus 3. Now apply inverse Laplace transform on both the sides, on both the sides. So we know that u of t Laplace transform is 1 by s and e power minus at u of t Laplace transform is 1 by s plus a for causal signals that is real part of s is greater than minus a. Now apply this what is the inverse Laplace transform of this y of t which we want 1 by 3 into u of t Laplace transform is 1 by s 1 by s inverse Laplace transform is u of t. So we write it as u of t minus 1 by 3 into inverse Laplace transform of this one, S plus 3. Its inverse Laplace transform is minus 3t into Q of t. So this is a required expression answer. Okay. Unit step response. This is a third bit answer, unit step response. Clear this problem, any doubt? <clears throat> any problem do you want me to repeat any concept so next to one more problem same as this uh, but same partial fraction using partial fraction method only try to solve this consider a stable lti system write down the problem Consider a stable LTI system. Try to solve this. Consider a stable LTI system. Characterized by. Characterized by. By the differential equation. Characterized by the differential equation. I am giving the equation here. Writing plus 4 into dy of t by dt plus 3 into y of t equal to dx of t by dt plus 2 into x of t. Initial conditions are not mentioned. So you can consider all y double dash or y dash as 0, 0 values. Okay. x also, all initial conditions are zero, zeros. Find a transfer function. Try to solve this. If you have any doubt, we will discuss in next lecture. Find a transfer function and its response, its response when input is, when input is x of t equal to e power minus t into u of t. That's it. Given differential equation, apply Laplace transform both the sides. First, to get the transfer function. Using the transfer function, find the output when input is this one x of t equal to 
e power minus t into u of t. Okay. So this term Laplace transform is s square into y of s. Like that, apply Laplace transform, get the transfer function. Try to solve this. If you have any problem, we will discuss it in the next lecture. Okay, with this, I'm closing the session. Please practice all the problems. If you have any doubts, we'll discuss in next lecture. Okay.